In this next video, we'll talk about the next property on the list, which is the mouse pointer property. This value by default is set to zero, which is the form mouse pointer default. Typically, that's just going to be this the regular mouse icon you're seeing right now on my screen. And if the user has a Windows theme set up to that changes the icons around, then that's the icon that they'll see. Whatever the default icon they have, that's what they'll see on their screen whenever they hover over your user form. Now, if you want to modify that, it's quite simple. Before runtime, you can change it at the property screen. And from here, let's just say we wanted to change it to be the hourglass. If I also hit F5 right now, anytime you hover over the user form, you're just going to see the hourglass. Of course, that's not something that you're going to want to do at runtime. I, I don't think your application needs may be different. But I'm going to show you how you can also modify this at runtime because that's more than likely the time that you're going to use it. So first off, let me close out my user form. And I'm going to change the mouse pointer back to our default value. And let me go on and draw a command button on my user form. And what we're going to do is change the mouse pointer to an hourglass while we let some code run. Now, you want to scroll through this list though to see all of the available hourglasses that are, not hourglasses, all of the mouse icons that are available to you. You have an arrow, cross, I beam. You have the resize icons such as the northeast, southwest. I'll give you an example. If I click this one and hit F5, that way you can just kind of see what this icon is. This is just the directional one, the one that points northeast and southwest. So let me hit F5, and you don't see that icon yet. Let me just kind of go back to it. Didn't I didn't change the value right? I probably changed it on the command button. Sure enough, I did. So if I hit F5 and, and I hover over the command button, you'll see the icon I'm referring to. So this icon can be used just about for any control on the VBA or user form. Let me go on and change out the command button icon back to a zero because the one I want to modify is the one where it's the user form. So I'm going to click my user form and now I'm looking at the user form properties. So first I'm going to set to zero and at runtime I'm going to change it to an hourglass. So let me double click my command button. I'm going to put me, which refers to the user form, me.mousepointer is equal to, and we're going to change this to the hourglass. And I'm just going to run some code here. I'm going to put for rep is equal to 1 to 20,000. Do events, me.caption is equal to the rep. And then next, that way to close off the for statement. And then we'll put me.mousepointer is equal to, and we'll put it back to the default value. So if we hit F5, and we're going to click the command button, and all this code is going to do is modify the user form caption. It's going to count up to 20,000. While that code is being executed, we're going to see an hourglass on the user form. So let's go on and try this out. There we see the hourglass, and right now it's counting up. Once it's done counting, it's going to set it back to its default value, which is going to be the regular mouse, uh, the regular mouse icon.